So today's lesson from yourtechvision.com is on the scientific calculator and how to use it with talking software. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my calculator and I'm just going to hit my start key, type in CAL, which is enough to bring it up. You can make a hotkey for it and I actually highly suggest that if you're in, taking a math class. And at that point, all when you bring up your calculator, you just hit your code. applications key, properties up arrow to properties, enter, enter properties and tab to your shortcut key. And as you can see, I've already made a hotkey for my calculator, so uh, no matter what I'm doing, uh, I can get there very quickly. And you can just hit enter and you enter. go right to uh, your calculator shortcut key. So let's go ahead and actually use it now. Control Alt C. And there it is. So let me show you the view range and all the options. And then, of course, you can hear the hotkeys that go with it. So we're going to go to view with Alt V. So standard is Alt plus one. And if we go down arrow, programmer. Statistics alt plus four, a. So it really does uh, cover the gamut of the calculations that will be uh, used, especially for higher math. So let's escape, escape out of that. Escape, menu bar, and this is how I uh, teach my students. So we're going to go ahead and open Word, and I've got a hotkey for that. So I'm just going to hit my start key for. Let's increase the view so you can see what's happening. So you're going to uh, you know, put your name on here. You're going to go ahead and insert the date. Uh, and then you do number one, and we're just going to make up problems as we go along. So the teacher wants you to do uh, the cosine of eight. For the scientific calculator to calculate correctly, you're going to go over and turn on your numlock. Or if you're on a laptop, you can easily uh, use the numbers and symbols above the QWERTY keyboard. So let's go ahead and do eight, and the cosine is uh, O. Cosine result colon zero point nine nine zero two six eight zero six eight seven. And it reads it to you. And what I have my students do is just copy that because if they're trying to remember that many numbers, they may not be able to do that. So they're going to copy. Copy selections of clipboard. They're going to Alt Tab to the work. Document one left bracket. And they're going to paste. We're going to go ahead and do an insert up arrow so they can listen to it. So they can truly see that they've inserted it. Uh, with math class, you really need to have a Braille display attached. Uh, I think you should, no matter what uh, class you're doing, but especially in math, you really want to be able to read those numbers. Now, most teachers have the students round off to the nearest uh, 10 or 100 or whatever the teacher wants. Uh, that's what you're going to do. So I'm going to have my students pop to the home. Oh, one. And one. Period. Space. Zero. Period. Now they're at the period and the long number. So nine. let's nine. just round it zero. off uh, to the nearest hundred. So now that they're on uh, the number they need to be, they're going to go ahead and shift control right arrow to select the rest of it and hit delete. Uh, and they can put, uh, and then they can put detail of whatever the teacher wants. So a 0 0.99 is uh, the cosine of eight. Uh, so that is really nice. So let's go ahead and alt tab back to the calculator. I'm going to clear that with an escape. So let's go ahead and do uh, what is the sine of 9. So we're going to hit 9. And there is the answer. So I'm going to copy that. Control C. Alt tab. 2. Control V to paste. They hit home, they're going to hit the right arrow to move past until they get to the numbers where they want to shift control right arrow, delete, and get rid of it. So Alt tab back, and you clear with escape. And now let's do uh, the tangent of 6. And that's just T for tangent. Control C to copy, Alt tab back, enter, 3, Control V to paste. So it really is that easy. Uh, and all of these methods, the copy, the paste, moving back and forth, uh, hitting escape to delete everything, works uh, all the time for that. So go ahead and try those skills.